using the lasso tool. Performing lasso cutting. Consider the following template page. Now, select the photo which requires a lasso cutting. Click the PXL Enhancement button on the main screen to open up the PXL Enhancement window. By default, the window will open up in the Image Enhancement mode and the Pen tool selected. The selected photo is also displayed in the PXL Enhancement window ready for editing. For entering into the Lasso mode, click the Lasso mode button. If you are performing lasso cutting just after performing Image Enhancement in the PXL Enhancement mode, you will be prompted with a message whether you wish to save the changes to the image before moving on to the next step. Click Yes if you really wish to save the changes and click No to discard the changes. On clicking Yes, a Save As dialog window is displayed. The default folder for saving the flat image is Photos in the DG Photo Art directory. Enter a file name into the text box. Remember that if you overwrite on an existing file, then the changes will be reflected in the entire album where this file is used, including other projects. From the drop-down list, select the format of the image. The default is MGF. Click the Save button for saving the file. The file gets saved along with the changes and appears in the lasso mode. To begin marking on the selection area, left-click on the point where you wish to start the selection from. Notice that the first point of selection is displayed with a small circle in green. Now, move the pen and take it to the next point along the contours of the area to be retained and click again. Notice that the selection path appears as a magenta line. For making the edges smooth, you can drag the mouse, keeping the mouse key pressed and releasing the mouse button when the desired curvature is reached. Likewise, go on marking the area of selection till you cover the entire area to be retained. You can undo a selection by the right click of the mouse. Click on the first mode or press the enter button on the keyboard to complete the selection. Notice that the selection path turns white, displaying the nodes on it. Also, the lasso tool gets converted into a cursor. DG Photo Art Gold also allows you to edit the selection path after completing the selection. Selection within a selection area using Lasso tool. DG Photo Art Gold allows you to knock off unwanted areas from within a selection area too. Make sure that you have already completed a selection of a portion of the photo. To knock off an area within a selection area, click on the Lasso Tool button to activate the Lasso Pen tool. With the help of the mouse, left click on the point where you wish to start the selection from. This point is marked with a small circle in green. Now, move the pen tool and take it to the next point along the contours of the area to be knocked off and click again. Notice that the selection path appears in magenta. You can also zoom in or zoom out by pressing the plus or minus button on the keyboard for making the selection path accurate. You have a better control on the photo in the work area. You can press the space bar to activate the hand tool. Keeping the space bar and the left key pressed, move the mouse to set the photo in the work area. Likewise, go on marking the area of selection till you cover the entire area. You can undo a selection by the right click of the mouse. Click on the first node or press the enter button on the keyboard to complete the selection. Notice that the selection path turns white, displaying the nodes on it. Also, the lasso tool gets converted into a cursor. DG Photo Art Gold allows you to edit the selection path after completing the selection. Since this area is to be knocked off from within a selection area, you need to make use of the Alpha Invert button. Click the Alpha Invert button. Notice that the selection path turns black. To preview the knocked off portion, click the View Mask button. The area to be knocked off will appear as a semi-transparent layer so as to differentiate it with a portion to be retained. Editing the selection path. You can also make changes to the selection path at any point of time after completing the selection. Click on the selection tool to select a selection area. 
the selected path appears with the nodes on it. Now, right click on any of the nodes to activate a menu for adding and deleting nodes. Selecting the add node, selecting the add node will add a new node between two nodes. Similarly, delete node will delete a selected node. You can edit the selection path by holding the shift or control key and dragging the node with the help of the mouse. Shift key moves the nodes while control key smoothens the curves keeping the nodes fixed. Saving the selection area. You can save all the selection areas of a photo for future use using the Save Selection button. Click the Save Selection button. This will open a Save Selection window. The default folder of saving the selection will be the Mask folder. Enter a name to save the selection and click the Save button. The selection gets saved in .nsk format. Loading a Save Selection you can load a save selection anytime and also edit it. Click on the Load Selection button. A Load Selection dialog opens up. Select the appropriate selection from the list. Notice that the previously saved selections appear on the photo. You can also edit the loaded selection. Kindly refer to the section Editing the Selection Path. Saving and returning back to the template page. To save the photo after lasso cutting, click the Save button. A Save as dialog window is displayed. The default folder for saving the flat image is Photos in the DG Photo Art Course directory. Enter a file name into the text box. Remember that if you overwrite on an existing file, then the changes will be reflected in the entire album where this file is used, including other projects. From the drop-down list, Select the format of the image. The default format is .mgf. Click the Save button for saving the file. The file gets saved along with the changes. Alternately, you can click the Back button to return back to the work area along with the changes made to the photo. The photo with the lasso cutting appears in the work area with Auto Feather. Applying Feather to 32-bit photo. Consider the following template with a 32-bit photo. Click on the photo to select it. Click on the Effect button to load the Effects window. Click the Filter tab to load the Filter options in the Effects window. Drag the Feather slider towards the right to increase the level of Feather. Notice that the changes to the Feather level appear after releasing the mouse button. You can also right-click on the feather slider to bring it back to the default value. Remember that all the changes made to the photo in the PXL Enhancement window are permanent and cannot be rolled back.